In this video, let's meet the team of instructors who will accompany us throughout the course. They have combined their knowledge and experiences to bring you both innovative methodologies and diverse hands-on examples. Let's discover why they truly believe in bringing living heritage to the classroom. Hello, dear participants. My name is Sania Bajaneva, and I'm from Kazakhstan. I'm a musician, musicologist, and I'm an intangible cultural heritage expert. I'm studying all my career, Kazakh Dombra Ki, and I'm really interested in how to safeguard, how to transmit Ki to the next generations. Welcome to our online course. Hi, my name is Camila. I'm from the Kyrgyz Republic, a beautiful country with rich cultural heritage located in Central Asia. I am a UNESCO trained facilitator for the 2003 convention, and my previous and current experience is related to the safeguarding and promotion of the living heritage in my country. I'm passionate about ICH, and my favorite one is the celebration of Nowruz, which means the new day marks the first day of the spring and the renewal of the nature. I will guide you through module 2, which is focused on understanding your specific context. I look forward to sharing this model with you. Hello, my name is Linina Puditan or Nina. I'm a lecturer at Jalalongan University and I worked with UNESCO on several projects related to the intangible cultural heritage. The reason why I'm fascinated with ICH is because you know, there are stories about the past that continue into the present, and I like to ask the questions of how they can continue into the future. My favorite ICH element is the Slakyong Festival in Lampun Province in the northern part of Thailand, because it is a very colorful merit-making festival that encompasses so many interesting issues like gender, cultural tourism, and cultural changes. I will be sharing with you my passion and knowledge in intangible cultural heritage in step two and step three, learning more about the intangible cultural heritage. See you soon. Namaste, Zozolopa, Sewaru. My name is Monantuna Japu. My name is Sharaore Bajrajare, and we are from Kathmandu, Nepal. We are art educators from a non-profit organization called Shizanale. For us, intangible culture heritage is a way to connect to the histories of a place and its people. We love the way living heritage brings people together and creates bonds that can bridge students' diverse schools and home experiences. Hello, my name is Vanessa Achilles and I am part of the UNESCO Network of Facilitators for Intangible Cultural Heritage. I come from France and I lived in several countries in Asia, in North America and in Europe. This gave me the opportunity to discover and appreciate the richness of living heritage all over the world. Among this incredible diversity, I am mostly fascinated by all the practices related to food and gastronomy. Because, let's face it, whether it's a special or a normal day, we eat. And this says a lot about our lifestyles, and we can also learn so much from cooking. In this online course, I will give you some examples and some ideas on how you can set up partnerships and how you can bring living heritage in multicultural classroom. So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jeong Ani. I'm working as a professor in Jeonju National University of Education. My university is for pre-service primary teachers. I teach geography education, world geography, and social studies in my university. And I'd like to travel world around. Thank you. My name is Taewon Kim. My country is Republic of Korea. I'm a professor, Department of Social Studies Education. Gwangju National University of Education. There are many reasons why I am interested in intangible cultural heritage, but I would like to introduce two of them. First, in my opinion, intangible cultural heritage is an essential element 
in creating a healthy and sustainable future. Second, intangible cultural heritage contributes to global citizenship. Intangible cultural heritage is often formed based on the local environment. Therefore, we will be able to understand the culture of the local people by understanding the characteristics of the intangible cultural heritage of each region and cultivate global citizenship while enjoying it together. Hello, my name is Min Jung Kim. I'm a program specialist of ICHCAP, which is the International Information and Networking Center for Intangible Cultural Heritage in the Asia-Pacific region under the auspices of UNESCO. I believe that safeguarding intangible cultural heritage is necessary to promote cultural diversity and sustainable development. In line with UNESCO's strategy to pursue an integrated approach to ICH and education, HCAP works with national and international educational institutions and research institutes to carry out education and training projects for the future generation. Thank you. My name is Kyunga Christy Bang, uh, Program Officer at UNESCO Bangkok Office. I will be talking about the synergies between the intangible cultural heritage and the mother tongue-based education. Hope you will enjoy the course. Hello, everyone. My name is Aditi Patak, and I work with UNESCO MGIB as National Program Officer. I will be talking about connecting social and emotional learning with intangible cultural heritage. ICH can also be used in the classroom to promote social and emotional learning. Research tells us that students who have been exposed to social and emotional learning and to creative artistic exploration at a young age are known to display more positive academic and social emotional behavior, including empathy, sharing, and mood control than those who have not. Thank you.